Happy holidays and thank you for joining me. This is Hallie with Hallie's Creations. Today we are going to make these simple little tea lights. Where I picked these little glasses up actually was from the yard sale. I love the yard sale. But you can get these at um, any Dollar Tree, any store. They're, they're everywhere and they're very inexpensive. I've taken the soy melt that you can buy from Amazon, online, Walmart, all different places. This is the natural candle soy melt and I just melted that down in my microwave, put the wick in there, let it harden and there you go. I put a splash of vanilla in there to give that nice vanilla smell. So now that we've finished shredding that little piece of ribbon wrap, we're going to glue, use the hot glue, give it a little twist, hold it and be careful don't burn your fingers we're gonna use this little fabric here to make little bows as we glue them on to these cute little glasses roughing out the edges of the material just gives it that little shabby chic you know look and feel and this is fun something different so we're going to hot glue this one on too. It's going to press it down there. And then fluff it out just a smidge. A little dab of glue again. And this little tool that I'm using here, I picked up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. <laughs> and it has saved my fingers so many times. Now we're taking a garland, we're going to just snip it off. Don't use the scissors, you use the clippers to snip these. You'll ruin your blades on your scissors. <laughs> so simply clip those off, lay them out how you like them. This is about what you like. And then we are going to hot glue these right on top of those fa that fabric. Don't worry if you get a little messy because see how we're doing the accent over it? And that's going to hide the hot glue. Yep. Let that glue set a smidge. And we're almost done. They're that easy. Super fun. Super easy. Using a little berry here to cover up a little glue a gobbly glue spot <laughs> and there you go you have a cute little table accent that you can set around on your table or around the house just for little Christmas accents here and there I think this piece probably cost me a whole dollar to make if even that in materials so and you saw how fast so enjoy that we're going to make another one here just to give you a couple of ideals Ta -da! <laughs> see how this one's taller and that will just add dimension to your place settings if you're setting them around the dinner table or around your home or whatever these are also super cute to put in your bathroom for little night lights and such be responsible when you're using candles. So here we're going to do this one again. Use the hot glue, twist the ribbon. See that little trick I did with my, my little pliers? Yeah. Just to hold it still for me. <laughs> so just have fun with it. Be creative. Like I said, be careful. Don't burn your fingers. dab of glue again and I think this accent I'm actually going to twist it down instead of up the other one I went up with it and that just gives it dimension if you're lining them up on the table as well it gives you that feng shui flow and notice too how the different glasses are different colors so they don't always have to match I always say if you buy something you like and if you just continue to buy the things you like, it's all going to come together. Clean up your loose 
loose ends here. All those little pieces you don't want floating around. Ready to go. Ta-da! That natural soy candle milk is phenomenal for making candles at home. I just melt it down in the microwave, pour it in, drop the wick in, and let them sit, and we're done. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas. And until next time.